Hey, so what is up, YouTube? So, my wife and I, uh, last weekend I had this great idea. Hey, hun, let's go check out this uh, flea market in the neighborhood. Well, it's not in the neighborhood, but it's on the way to work. So we decided to go by there today. And usually, you know, I I don't know how it is in, your, in, in where, where you guys live, but typically speaking, you don't go to a flea market and expect to find model kits. You'll find stuff that you really don't need. That seems cool to have at the time, but you never find model kits. So today I ran into an older gentleman today who actually had model kits and he had these for $5. And this is an Academy 172 scale T6G Texan. What? Hey, guys. Um, okay, they're going away. Uh, a Hasegawa kit. Uh, this is a TBM 3 Avenger. Uh, look at the box art, it looks pretty cool, and again, it's a Hasegawa, so you can't go wrong, right? So, another 172 scale kit. This one I just picked up because, uh, you know, look, I, I ran out and I picked up this one. I picked up this one, and uh, it was $5, my, my wife didn't yell at me, so I decided to go ahead and pull, push my luck, and uh, pick up three more so I spent fifteen dollars on those three planes and then later on strolling around I found this guy who uh, was probably the the steal of the day because it, the guy wanted twelve dollars for it but the shrink wrap was busted the box was pretty pretty ma mashed up so I kind of whined a little bit and I said you know there's no guarantee that this kit is complete wah 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 so I talked him down to six bucks, and uh, six bucks for a one-six scale kit. Sorry, my table is filthy dirty. Let me just turn the camera down this way. And just so you guys know, um, it's been a long day. I've I've really had a Calgon take me away day today because um, there was one cut that I tried to do earlier, uh, and uh, with my son and these puppies here, it was. Oh, jeez, why are they so wet? What are you guys doing? Okay. This morning, uh, this little girl right here, this little girl right here, I don't know if you can see him in that light, but she appeared on her, our side patio this morning and uh, surprised the dogs and... She almost got herself killed by Sid this morning, uh, being in our yard. So we saved her, I brought her inside, got her got her cleaned up, got her fed, watered up. So this afternoon we get back from the, the flea market, and I'm going out to the store again to go grab some, some snacks or whatever, and this little black puppy is out there. So it's obviously some negligent neighbors uh, let, adopted these guys. Uh, they, they were outside all night, apparently walked away ended up in my yard and I'm not gonna let them go out out there again possibly get run over or, or whatever you know but these these puppies are not gonna go back to the owners because no, nobody is fessed up <laughs> basically nobody is fessed up I've already asked every every neighbor in the in the area and, and nobody has had puppies around here I don't know where they came from they couldn't have gotten far or they, they couldn't have come from a very far away place because they're two months old. They couldn't have come together. They were separated, but, uh, you know, anyway. I'm fostering some puppies for the time being. I cannot keep them. I would love to. But I've got some older dogs here that are already getting up in their years, and I cannot risk them dying on me just because they think that I've got some new friends. But So I'm just fostering these guys. This is the one... <laughs> And, and you know, they, they have been a nightmare. They're not so bad, but combined with my 18-month-old child, I had an infant overload. And they, these puppies were running all over the house today. He was running all over the house today, and, and I, I, I flipped out. So, <laughs> but again, um, I'll have a, I'll do another cut on this one, but this is the kit. This is the, the chest piece of the droid alone. So, again, a nice, it's a decent-sized kit. I have looked at the pieces and there's not a lot to it, but there's a lot of pieces there. Everything is clean. There's no flash. 
I'm hoping this is going to go together quite similarly to the pod racer from episode one. But uh, these are not typical AMT fair kits, you know, because they, they actually had some detail. So uh, more on this one later, but I will definitely do some cuts. I was just showing the stash, uh, talking about what kind of day that I had today with uh, two-month-old puppies that don't belong to me. Uh, but guys, take care, have fun. More on this one later. Peace out.